the Friday night, we're playing the Red Sox. I'm still with the Twins. And Nomar comes up to me. He's like, I heard we might be teammates soon. And I'm like, that'd be great. Because, <clears throat> I mean, like the Twins, they already got rid of AJ. And, like, the Rat Pack was gone for us there. Me, AJ, Denny Hawking. Like, I just, like, it wasn't my team anymore. I felt like it's, it had tore even, but it just didn't feel right. So I was like, all right, that'd be cool. Um, and then the deadline comes, and it comes and goes. And I'm still a twin. And then we had a five o'clock, we had a weird start time, like five o'clock Saturday night game. And I took BP with the twins. And <clears throat> I, I'm in the middle of talking to the all three Minneapolis beat writers about how me and Gardner are going to have to make this relationship work. Um, and they tap me on the shoulder and I go into Gardy's office and Terry Ryan's sitting in there. And he's like, damn, you two for putting me in this situation. But Doug, we traded you to the Cubs. And I was like, well, fuck. I think I heard I was nice in August because they had Derek Lee. <laughs> and, uh, and so he goes, then they traded you to Boston. And I was like, I picked my shit up and like I rolled behind the clubhouse, like behind the two clubhouses in the Metrodome. There was a, a laundry room that connected the clubhouses. I walked right behind there. And I walk in and Pedro's butt naked sitting on my chair, like swinging back and forth going, Dougie, come give me a hug. And like Nomar's packing his bag. I'm like, oh, this is, I go, uh, I go, I thought I was a good player, but I'm nowhere near Nomar's caliber. And I didn't know Orlando Cabrera was in the deal yet. So I had no idea. And I walk in, I'm like, holy shit. Like, did I just get traded for Nomar Garcia Parra? These guys are fucking idiots. <clears throat> so, um, <laughs> and, and I found out Orlando was in the deal too. So I was, I couldn't walk into a better clubhouse than that one. Uh, knowing Johnny, Veritek, all those guys played against those guys in college, high school, whatever. Um, a funny quick anecdote on that one. I was the only guy in the Metrodome that lost all three games that weekend. Uh, the Red Sox beat the Twins in, on Friday night. And Saturday and Sunday, the Twins beat the Red Sox. So I was the only guy on the field that lost all three games that weekend. <laughs> Um, that tells you something else that I'm, you know, that's how good a player I was. Uh, then, so like just every day in the, every day in the Red Sox clubhouse, you saw shit that was like, if we were, could have been a reality show, we'd all be like famous as hell just because you walked in and, you know, besides the fact that everybody else wore everybody else's shit besides their Jersey, like your undershirt, your pants, your socks, whatever it was, if you got three hits the night before, you better get to the field at 10 because your pants are gone for sure. Manny would have Billy Miller's pants on all the time. Um, you walk in and you walk in and there's like Pedro's midget sitting there. You walk in the like go walk to the training room and there's three dudes in one of those little ass splashing each other with soap, like in one of those th like mini, like whatever those hot tubs. And you're just like, and you just walk past like, hey Kev, Manny, David, how you doing? Like, you know, it just it was a daily occurrence. It was just one big traveling shit show um and it was that's why to me why we won um we tried to do it right the first three games against the yankees we all went home got your sleep and we were like fuck it and i david and i bless his heart we get beat whatever it was 19 to 8 and game three it was like we're not going out like this and david goes come to my house I'm like all right cool so next thing you know we're drinking all president days and it's like 7 15 in the morning we're still drinking. And I'm like, David, like, we, we got to stop. And he's like, we're fucking doing it our way. And we, I think we got rained out the next day, thank God. But the next day we ended up winning. And it, it was just a most amazing run I've ever been a part of to where it was like, there were so many little pieces of that series that, I mean, people forget the ball Tony Clark hit. If it rolls one more stitch and stays in the park, we lose just shit like that, that like people think of the Robert Steele, which was monumental. Don't get me wrong, but obviously it was huge, but like little things like that, or uh, there's so many little tiny quirky little things that had to go right that did. And then once St. Louis came around, it was like, it was like a, the world series, honestly, after that Yankee series was like a Tuesday day game against the fucking Tigers. It was the most boring, like outside of game one, where we had a lead, lost it. And then came back. I don't know, Manny's was always the best. Like Manny thought if I broke in his gloves, he would be a better fielder. So he'd always give me his outfielders some bits like, Dougie, break this in. All right. And if you remember that, that game one in Fenway, he comes flying in and does one of his slides and he takes out like a chunk of sod. Shouldn't have dove 40, dove feet first. We just blew like a six run lead. 
And he comes and sits down next to me and he's like, Dougie, the grounds crew hates my guts. And I'm like, man, it's the fucking World Series, dude. Like, I need this for, like, my Christmas. Like, you need to lock it the fuck in. <laughs> like, I know. And he's like, Poppy, no problem. We got it. But I'm like, that's that's where his mind was in the middle of the game. Like, Dougie, the, like, I've just lost the gold glove. And the grounds crew hates my guts because he missed the ball. <laughs> it's just like, but that's how they were. And not, the only other story I can have on the season, and AJ, you can vouch for this. We're in Seattle. We have bases loaded. And Veritek's up. And Manny's at second and Johnny's at third one out we're in a pennant race right we're we're battling trying to win the wild card try to win the division Veritek's a free agent at the end of the year and this is like September so Tech gets a fly ball to left now Dale Swam's coaching third Johnny's tagging up Adrian Belche's playing third Manny thinks there's like two outs runs through the three other people that are standing at third base. Just runs right past them. Scores, high fives the next guy, walks back to the dugout, has no idea there's only one of them. So everybody's like, what, Manny, what the fuck are you doing? So the next half inning comes in, Manny comes in and he goes, uh, Jason, you're, you're a free agent. I keep your price tag down. I want you to be a Red Sox next year. And the whole dugout fell out fucking crying and laughing. Like, that situation in a heated game, in a pennant race, most guys would just argue and bitch and what the fuck? And that's us. And, like, Frank Conan looked over and was just, like, giggled. It's like, that's just the truth. Like, that's what that's how Manny thought. Like, he totally fucked up, but yet he literally, that's where he came. And, like, even Veritek, who hit it, was, like, there's nothing to do but laugh, and we all meant it. It was really fucking funny, but that's that why that's why that group survived, and that's I mean to win in that place with that circumstance. Like I saw grown men, like grown men in groups of four to six, like hyperventilating, crying, walking outside of Fenway that night after Game Three, and you're like, man, I wish I cared that much about something I had no control over. I mean, I get it. I'm a Dolphins fan. I I, I live it every fucking summer, every every winter, but. Like to be that emotional over, uh, you know, that's when it really hit me. Like, holy shit! Like, this is a huge deal. And to end up winning the way we did was was pretty freaking awesome. And I, I I felt bad for the guys the year before getting their heart ripped out. The you know, Wake getting his heart ripped out, and their guys having to go through that on Yankee Stadium. And to, and to finish it Game Seven on on in Yankee Stadium meant the world to us. And I I know it uh, it couldn't happen to a better group of people.